Hello, healing tubers, finally, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Thracia 776. It's me, Blue Ankylo. Last chapter was very dark. Today should be bright again. We're off to Caribos Gate. Ridding ease of the pirates besetting it, Leaf hurriedly resumed his course to Munster. It was not long until he arrived at Caribos Gate, a small fortress that guarded the entrance to the province of Munster. Oh yeah, kids. We'll see how this mechanic works too in a little bit. I am at least aware of the basics about it. Good old Thracia. Unique mechanics. Ah, oh, are the cattle being collected on schedule, Lobos? Ah, Baron Raedric. We've rounded up all the brats in the area, rest assured. For the time being, I've locked them inside the forge prison. EXP bags, oh yeah, genealogy was great. They don't do that anymore. <laughs> what do you want done with them, my lord? Hmm, uh, best keep them there until Lopter, the Lopter Church arrives to claim them. The Magi may well try to free the little worms. See that your men are prepared for an incursion. Magi? As in those rebels from Munster? <laughs> They're still alive. To my great chagrin, yes. I thought they'd been wiped out, but they've resurfaced recently. The little swarm of fleas seems to have a new man in charge. <laughs> Never a moment's peace these days. Uh, and what are you, sire? Will you be returning to Munster? Not immediately. My journey has been most tiring, and I would rest here while I can. What better place for a man to catch his breath than the impregnable Carabos' gate? Eh, hey, Lobos? So this is still the guy that kidnapped, uh... Uh... Ivel's daughter... Marita, I believe her name was, and Finn's daughter, I believe it's canonical in this game, Nana. So Nana and uh, Marita were kidnapped by the guy in purple, and, well, they're not here, but, you know, he's been busy. Ha! Indeed, sire. He's our first big bad. And just random red guys spawning out of the ether. Classic. We're surrounded! <laughs> that fortress, Carabos Gate, guards the road into Munster. As strongholds go, it's rather small, but don't let its size fool you. The people of this area say it's more terrible than hell itself. Yeah, this is only chapter 3, I don't believe you. Why? The soldiers here no longer watch over the road. They search for children. Lord Leaf, the fortress now serves as a base for the province's child hunts. Child hunts? Leaf, were you born in a barn? What are you talking about? How Everybody knows the Empire's kidnapping children. To sacrifice to their Lopterian dark gods. All across the Empire, children aged 7 to 13 are seized by Imperial soldiers. They are sent to Valhalla, the capital, and after the atrocities wrought upon them, they're the ones who survive are never the same. Yeah, we know. I mean, maybe Leaf doesn't know, but I know. <laughs> they are children no more. Oh, they begin a life anew as servants to the Dark Guard Loptis. That's a bit different than the genealogy story, the way I remember it. I think in, in FE4, they were just sacrificed to resurrect the Dark God, but here they're being, like, turned evil. That's inconceivable! What manner of tall tale? He's probably just telling us rumors and stories. I realize it sounds too horrible to be true, but this is no fable. This is the state of Duke Drawl. Even now, children languish in captivity within that very fortress you see. What soldier could willingly take part in such a thing? No one with a spark of humanity left, to be sure. I'm sorry, Augustus, but we must part ways. I cannot allow this evil to go unchallenged. I must free those children. So remember, rescue the girls, sidetracked by stop the pirates, sidetracked by save a girl kidnapped by pirates, sidetracked by save that girl's hometown, sidetracked by save some children in a fortress on the way. So that's at least four or five side missions from our original objective. <laughs> Leaf needs to pick a path. I guess he's got a lot in common with Sigurd. But think of all the children. Yeah, I know, I know. The children. Indeed. Oh, no, don't do that. 
allow me to give you one last piece of advice, sire. Karabos's gate is too small to fit horses. Oh yeah, we're gonna learn about dismounting a bit more. So have any of your soldiers that fight on horseback dismount. Sorry, Finn. Further, after everything they've seen, I'd wager the children are too traumatized to even move. <laughs> You'll have to carry them back to the villages. And then their families will owe you a debt they can never repay. Except they'll give you items and people will join you later on. But they'll, you know, they'll repay it somehow. Fortune be with you, Prince of Leonster. Hold! This whole time you've known I was the heir to House Leonster. You dastard. But of course! What's more, I want to see you return to power. Let's arrange to meet in Munster after your business is concluded. Goodbye, strange man. Who was actually teaching the pirates how to torture people. Remember? <laughs> he, was in t he was the strategist for the pirates that were burning the village. And they're like, well, didn't you teach him all you knew how to torture people? <laughs> like, you're not a, such a good guy yourself, Mr. Priest. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we got two new characters. Yay! Safi. So if you're watching the slideshow on the left, you might notice I spelled her name slightly differently. That's just because, depending on where you look her up, she's got different... Uh... Oh, really? We just start with the hammer? Sure, why not? Uh, you start with different uh, spelling and, and translation. So Safi is pronounced the same either way, I guess. So that's fine. Uh, she's, uh, you know, our first healer, a priestess. I probably put her as a priest as well or something, which is what the Wikipedia says. But, you know, you guys understand. Healer, priest, it's all basically the same. Um, so yeah, Hammern, that's pretty cool. Only her, five uses, that's pretty good. Um, we definitely don't want to waste it though, or lose it. So, I'm not going to be using that too soon, but that's a good item. Good for like, the Vuj slash Puji to restore it at some point, or maybe a brave weapon, or you know, whatever else we need. Um, some of those sleep staves, or berserk staves, if we get some. Uh, and then our first heal bot. So 10 HP plus magic, which is 16 to adjacent target. Good deal. She's got a C rank in staves, which is a good start. Most staff bots don't start at C. Five movements, pretty bad to start. And uh, no skills, no stars of any sort. So, non-combat unit. Um, heals. Cool. Keeping in mind, this is for, for the new tubers, just to explain this one more time. She has no weapon equipped, which means if any enemy attacks her, they will... I don't... I think if it's an indirect attack at range, they could kill her. But pretty much anyone that gets into melee range with her will just capture her. I'm pretty sure. We, I don't know if I want to test it out right now. <laughs> but she's got such low constitution, basically anyone could capture her. And if they can get adjacent to her, she has no weapon, so she gets insta-capped. So we got to be careful with that. Um... If you kill the enemy holding her, she should come back, though. But you might have to mess with items. They might steal stuff. Uh, other than that, that's it. Safi. The other character that's new is Lithis. Our first thief. Uh, starts with a lockpick. We're definitely going to want to give him a sword. Because he can use swords. And we don't want him to be uh, captured as well. He's got two movement stars and seven movement. So he gets around real fast. Speed's good. We might, maybe, if I need to, give him my speed ring. I've been holding on to a speed ring. I think maybe Marty's got it. Uh, yeah. So we could give him three more speed if there's a good use for it. I still don't know who to give this to just yet. Uh, but I was thinking the thief might be an option. Uh, because you need more speed than your target to capture. But he might be fast enough that it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, just scroll through the enemies, just looking at their speed. Uh, I don't see anyone with more than ten so far. Not even close. So right now, he can just go steal stuff pretty easily. Um, maybe the boss might be uh, comparable, but he's a general. Yeah. The problem is, in addition to being faster, you also need more constitution than the weight of the uh, weapon. So he's only got six constitution, which means he can't really steal very many physical weapons. Uh, not that, for instance. Um, he could probably steal a short bow, though, I think. It might be... Con plus one versus weight, or con, you know, it might be, I mean, it might not just mean to match, it might need to be higher. Well, we can test that out. Okay, so that's the new characters. We got a healer, we got a thief. Stealing is, you know, interesting. 
Uh, let's see, what else we need to talk about? I wanted to spend a little bit at the beginning of this episode talking about some growth rates. So, on the left side of the screen, we've got our, um, our, uh, slides going, and I know you guys can, you can, hopefully you can read the growths over there. What I'm gonna do is just cover some of the main characters, um, stats and growths, just sort of verbally, and talk about them a little bit. So, we're just gonna spend a few minutes here, sorry. Sorry if you're bored senseless, but you can skip ahead. Um, but yeah, so Leaf, um, I'll pull him up for you guys. He's got HP growth of 70%, strength 35%, magic slash resistance 10%, skill 35, speed 40, luck 40, defense 25, and then also constitution 15 and movement 3. Which is why he got a movement up at his last level up. So he actually has plus one movement based on what his slide will say because he got a growth in it. So he started with six move, now he's got seven. That's really good. Um, and I would say pretty darn lucky. You, you can't count on 3% growths. Um, otherwise, his stat growths are, I would consider, weak. Um, 35 in skill and strength and skill, 40 in speed and luck. Those are all pretty low growths compared to modern Fire Emblems, but um, workable is kind of the way I'm thinking about it. So that's our main character. We'll go to Finn next. He's got good bases and a few extra free levels he starts with. Uh, Finn has pretty comparable growths to Leaf, honestly. 60% HP, 35% strength, 5 magic, 30 skill, 35 speed, 45 luck, 30 defense, 10 build, and 1 movement. So he's got comparable, plus or minus 5% basically against everything Leaf has. So pretty similar. Uh, he starts at a higher level with better stats, but his growths are about the same. Maybe 5% lower on average kind of thing. Uh, nothing to worry about there. Finn looks like he should be good. He also has the Brave Lance, which is amazing. And Brave Lance will carry him even with relatively poor stats, which he doesn't even have. Ival. So she's your Jagan pre-promote with amazing stats and is basically invincible as far as I understand. Um... Her growth rates are actually terrible. 30% HP, 15 strength, 10 magic, 15 skill, 10 speed, 25 luck, 5 defense, 5 build, 1 movement. Uh, so don't expect her to gain even more than like 1 stat up per level up. Um, she's not going to get much XP, she's not going to get get many stats. That's not her point. But training her is extra pointless because you don't get much out of it. Next up, Ocean, also known as Orson. Uh, this guy has the Vuge or Poogie, which means he's got another personal weapon that's amazing. He's got good growths, or at least similar to Leafs, at least for... I, in good for me, in as far as I'm concerned in Thracia, good is weak in modern Fire Emblem terms. But for this game, they seem pretty average, or at least decent. 85% health, 30 strength, 5 magic, 25 skill, 35 speed, 55 luck, 25 defense, 25 build, which is pretty high for build and two movement. So overall, like 30% strength growth is pretty bad for a fighter, but his bases were okay, and um, he gets a lot of HP, lots of build, lots of luck. Speed is pretty average, skill's a little low, but I think he'll be workable. Plus the, the Vuge is super accurate anyway, so that covers a lot of his problems. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with Orson, or Orthan, whatever you want to call him, Ocean. Very strong fighter. Halvin is our sort of backup fighter in my books. I'd say he doesn't have a personal weapon like the Poogie, but um, he's got good stats still, and he comes with... He's the one with Wrath, isn't he? No, he's got Vantage. So o Ocean has uh, Wrath for extra criticals on counter, but Halvin gets Vantage to strike first on counters, which is definitely useful. And he's got pretty... Again, I'm saying it a lot, but pretty samey growths. 80, 80 HP... 40 strength, which is the highest so far by 5%. 5 magic, 20 skill, 30 speed, 30 luck, 30 defense, 30 build, 2 movement. So he's a little bit more focused. He's kind of uh, the strength defense fighter. And Ocean is kind of the speed luck fighter, if you want to think about it like that. Ocean's got more speed growth and luck, if you care. But they're all pretty comparable growths. And talking about like a 5% difference, you're probably not going to see it in practice. Like 5% difference means one stat up across 20 levels on average. So going from level 1 to 20, if you're 5% better at a growth, you might have one higher stat. You know, that's not much to worry about basically. 
Uh, Marty, he's actually a brigand, I noticed. He's not even a fighter. Uh, we're not expecting much out of Marty. Uh, he's probably one of my early benchers when I need to. Um, 90 strength, 15 strength. Although his base strength is pretty good, his growth is the lowest so far. Um, that's that's as bad as Ivel of Jagan. 5 magic, 10 skill, 15 speed, 50 luck though. Yeah, that's good. 40 defense. Sure, that's fine. 75 build, so he can probably cap his constitution at 20 pretty easily, and then 2 movement. So, on average, in like, I don't know, if you could get him 7 or 8 level ups, he'd probably hit his max con every time at 20. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. It's Marty, he's, a, he's basically a joke. Um, I know you can make him work with uh, certain scrolls and level ups and <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of extra work, but his bases are, well, you can see. I don't need to explain it. Dagdar is uh, another Jagan style character, uh, pre-promoted with pretty high base stats. His growth rates are, like Ivel's, basically garbage. 15 HP, 10 strength, 5 magic, 10 skill, 10 speed, 30 luck, 10 defense, 5 build, 1 move. So basically nothing. Don't expect him to get much stronger on level ups. Um, he's still a good character. Like When I say these guys have bad growth, I don't mean never use them. I just mean... Don't funnel them experience or expect them to gain anything on level ups. They are definitely base style characters, not growth style characters. And it's pretty standard for Jagans to be like that. So they're good in the early game. They'll probably fall off later on as the other characters catch up. Generally. I mean, we'll see. Uh, Tanya, the first archer. So she starts with pretty decent for archer stats. And I feel like we've had some pretty good luck on her actual level ups lately. Um, but let me go, go through real quick here. I know you might be able to see them at the bottom there. But uh, HP 60%, Strength 35, Magic 15, Skill 55, Speed 70, which is really good. Luck 60, Defense 15, Build 5, Movement 2. So the real standout there is she's got amazing speed growth, really high luck growth, and good solid skill growth. Her strength is pretty average for what we've seen so far, um, and HP is a bit lower as an archer, which is no surprise, and defense and stuff. But uh, 35 strength growth is actually better than some of our fighters, right? Orson, Ocean only has 30% strength. She actually has more strength growth than one of our mainline axe guys. So I have to say, she could get strength screwed, and you know it's only a 1 in 3 chance per level up, but um, she's got great other stats. Skill, speed, luck are all amazing growth rate wise so if you want an archer i'm pretty sure she can she can cover uh, especially if we gave her uh, a strength boosting scroll she should be set really quite simply uh, i mean i'm still not a huge fan of archers in general uh, two range lock no single range counter is tough but uh yeah tanya seems good ronan is i'm gonna say kind of marty tier <laughs> he he's probably your joke archer Again, pretty bad base stats, worse than um, worse than Tanya's overall, and his growth rates are not what you want. So 40% HP is worse than Tanya. 15% strength is as bad as the Jagans. 55% magic with a game with no magic bows, pretty pointless. But he gets resistance. 45% um, skill is fine. 55% speed is fine. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, 20. Defense, is, I'm looking at the right one there, no, 20, sorry, skill and speed, 45, 55, luck 20, defense 5, build 2, movement 3. So the only way he turns out good is if he gets 3% movement growths and like 15% strength growths. Uh, that's pretty unlikely to happen, so I again, like always, I'm sure there's a way to set him up, but his growth rates are pretty bad, worse than Tanya's anyway, and he still is an archer. He's just a fast archer that has more movement and some movement stars. So, if you want to play the dice game of 50% extra moves, sure. But other than that, I don't know. Not a fan. Uh, Lithis, well, we already sort of talked about him, but his growths. Let's pull those up real quick here. So, 65% HP, 35% strength, surprisingly high strength growth uh, for a thief compared to what the average is here. 10 magic. 25 skill, pretty bad actually. 45 speed, not as high as I'd like for a thief. 5 luck, he's very unlucky. 
That's a bit dangerous for enemy crits, actually. One luck by base, and then 5% growth means he'll never get any luck, really. 15% uh, defense, 10 build, and 2 movement. So, 10% chance to upgrade his con every level up. That would probably be, like, the best stat for him, so he can steal more things. Uh, speed is also very important, 45%. I guess, starting at level 4, if we get him to level 20, that's 16 level ups. He should be getting about one speed every second level, so you could expect him to get eight-ish. Um, which would put him at 18 speed by level up, and then promoted he'll hit his cap at 20 pretty fast. Um, assuming thieves can even promote, actually, I don't even know. <laughs> I think it's a, a, a thief fighter is what they promoted back into in genealogy, so he probably can. Yeah, I think it was only the, uh, the Game Boy Advance thief uh, in the Blazing Sword, I think, that the thieves did promote. Um, okay, so that's Lifus, no big deal. I mean, he's he's not really here for growths. Yeah, you can grow con, and there might be an item, like a body ring style, that you can raise a con with a one-time use. I'm not sure about that, though. Uh, Safi, just to cover her growths, might as well. I did look at them before the, the episode. She's got, actually, pretty nice growths. Um... So 35 HP is nothing amazing. She's got, she's very frail. She she would have been a really good target for the uh, the plus seven angelic robe item type thing. We use it on Leaf, which I think was a good idea, but it would have given her 50% more HP. So that might have been a good idea too. I don't know. But she also doesn't take a lot of damage because she just gets captured. So yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. Anyway, 35 health HP is pretty bad. 30 strength, I don't think really does her any good at all. Uh, 60 magic is amazing. Really high magic growth. 45 skill, 40 speed. Pretty good for a healer, honestly. 5 luck. Another character with no luck growth, but at least a good luck base. 3 defense. It's not even 5% defense. It's actually 3% defense. So, that 0 is probably staying 0. <laughs> so the HP doesn't even matter, because everything just one-shots her anyway. And then 2 build and no movement growth. So her 5 movement is never going up. Until she promotes. Um, yeah, I mean, she's. I think she's very optimized. She is a healer, and that's it. She's nothing else. She just focuses on healing. And that's it. That's the whole squad. So, there you go. We won't have to go through the full squad ever again. We'll just do them as we recruit people. So, a little bit of a slow start there today, but uh, now we're good to go. So, we've got four houses and four children... I'm not looking up a guide, but I do know each of these children has a specific house to go to. <laughs> a 50% chance to get to defense one at level 20. Yeah, not much. She probably gains one or two at promotion, so she'll at least have two defense or something when she promotes. At least, assumedly. I haven't looked, but assumedly. Um, so, there's some children here. You might recognize one of them. Carpro uh, was definitely in... Uh, in Genealogy of the Holy War. Uh, I don't think the other three are specifically related. At least I don't remember. I don't recognize the names anyway. But yeah, Carper was our very late game Gen 2 healer. <laughs> it was like, he was like, uh, he was being raised by one of the big generals, Hannibal or something, I think. So he was very, very late game kid healer. Uh, we've got some chests. And some doors. We got a shop. We got we got a vendor and a supply. I don't know the difference. One's probably magic items. The other is physical weapons, maybe. So this might be the first time we can buy like iron weapons, but we'll we'll see when we get there. Um, we've already kind of skimmed through some of the enemies, but uh, they're not really getting upgraded yet. I, at level ten is higher than the pirates, but. Uh, We've got things to capture or steal. I have heard you should try to get all the door keys if you can. Um, also, what we're really on the lookout for is lockpicks. So, it's one use per door or chest or drawbridge if you have any. Um, and they're not really prevalent. Like, there's not a lot of lockpicks going around. So... We either use a door key to open a door or a, one of one use of the lockpick. So we got to be careful about our uh, consumables on that, or else you run out. Um. Oh, supplying is for storing. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize there would be an in-game or like an in-map, like storage depot. 
So should at the end of this chapter, you should carefully store all the stuff you don't want to carry forward in there. Boy, that sounds like something we should do off camera. We'll see how I feel. Anyway, uh, lots of doors, couple chests. A um, little bit of an ambush. I, I would guess, I'm not 100% sure, but I would suspect there's a likelihood of more reinforcements from behind over here. Or maybe this kind of looks like a road south. This is where we came from, so maybe this way. Uh, Alright, well let's get to work. So, Archer has the same, uh, actually slightly longer. So we can put someone in the forest, lure out uh, this guy with a short bow. I wouldn't mind capturing a lot of stuff, but storage is becoming an issue. Um, yeah, let's put someone in the forest. Oh yeah, thickets, right? That's special for uh, the Super Nintendo Fire Emblems too. Probably, probably no one can move into thickets. If I had to take a guess. Maybe Marty, because he's a bandit, if he moved right next to it. But generally, you can't move through those, uh, I don't think. I guess if you're a flyer, maybe you could land on one. Dismount or something. Vulnerary might be worth trying to steal. How am I looking for bows? I know I broke some things on the last map. I did break one short bow. Yeah, we're running low on short bows, technically, so... Theoretically, we could try to steal one of those. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do this here. <laughs> Wasting a lot of time. Let's, let's let Ronan have a little bit of fun. We'll put him there. He doesn't even have a short bow, whatever. Thanks, Ronan. That's really helpful. And then... We want to at least steal the door key or capture that guy. It's a hard game when blue... Well, vulneraries are, like, super vulneraries. We can't... Like, they're, there's basically no money in this game. And you can buy them for 600 gold, so they're not, like, rare exactly, but money is tight. And they're not 10 HP. <laughs> they are elixirs, really. So, you have stealable elixirs spread across the map. You, you might as well steal some. <laughs> and this is the first time we've had a healer, so I needed them... Uh, I needed a lot of them to get here. Well, need is a strong word, but... All right. So I'm just going to be grouping up a little bit this turn. Uh, I'm not super scared about capturing too much, but I might want to do a little bit. As far as feeding kills to right now, Leaf got to level 7. He's not doing too bad. Uh, my main growth characters I like so far, Halvin, Leaf, Ocean, and Tanya. They're kind of my primary four growthers. Ronan and Marty are kind of off. Oh, I was supposed to give a sword to... Right, I got to trade over a sword to Lithis. We need to steal some iron swords if we can find any, because I'm actually pretty low on them. So I'm looking for iron swords, short bows maybe, and I do have one right there. I just need to move it over. All right. Let's just slow down, do a little bit of inventory trading, because it's getting to be a, a nightmare. That's all good, Drow. I'm sure there's many people that forget that Vulneraries are actually really good in Thracia. There you go. Good job doing six damage, Rodan. Is that a mage? It's our first mage! So, because the tome weighs four, I'm pretty sure uh, Lifus can just steal it. <laughs> so, you know, that might be a good counter strat. He's also an armor bow guy. This might be our first armored unit. A little bit more difficult to capture because he's heavy, but uh, it's also a bow, so that's easy to capture because you just surround him. Uh, okay, let's... Oh, I wanted to test out some stuff. So we cannot steal a weapon that has the same weight as our constitution. We need plus one constitution to steal. Not really a surprise. Just wanted to double check. Let's move an iron sword over so he's got a weapon. And then... Sure. I'd like to get him some level ups. He's got that 10% con growth, so... I'm not going to be, like, funneling him kills, but... 
you know, if it pops up, it pops up. Okay, two short lances, probably not... Well, that one... <laughs> this guy's not worth capturing. Yeah, I think a, a Blessed Lithus would be getting a, a nice early con plus one. That'd, that'd be a nice boost. I don't know when we'll be able to buy heal staves either, so I'm not, I don't want to start... Like, we want to start using these regularly to get our experience. But I also don't know when we'll be able to buy them, so I want to be a little bit smart about that. Oh yeah, and Leaf got that plus one movement. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Leaf, man! Just gotta watch his sword uses, because we, we are a little light on swords. We've got tons of axes. And only one person that can even use lances. So I was thinking of capturing a couple of things here. Yeah, that's almost guaranteed. I say almost, it's Thracia numbers, so it's not really all that guaranteed. Good boy, Dagdar. And then maybe I try with Ocean rather than having Finn do everything. Nope. <laughs> Capturing with having stats just doesn't quite cut it. I mean, he might capture on a crit. 44% chance, right? Sure, might as well try. No luck. I'll still capture him, though. <laughs> Greedy Ankylo. Look, we're playing Thracia. Actually, that's not enough. <laughs> Short lances are pretty bad. We'd have to use the brave ones. One error. One use for one weapon. I guess it's fine. Now we get the crit at 24%. And he does, like, Finn gets good experience anyway, so, like... It's not really a waste for him to get kills, the same as it is for Dagdar. So part of that was to make sure Tanya can take a bow. Uh, for now, I'll have... Ah, Rodan can't take. Boy. I've done pretty good stealing vulneraries. I shouldn't complain much. I shouldn't. We've got another sword over here on Halvin, too. I, I, I'm actually fine. I got, I got so much stuff. Trying to sort this out a little bit, though. It's a mess. We got an extra hand axe on Halvin. I should move that around. Um, does Ocean... Ha oh, ha Ocean will never want a hand axe. He doesn't need it. <laughs> I mean, I could give him one, but he doesn't need it. Um, If I ever need Marty to do a ranged attack, at least he's got it. He's got a spare javelin, too, for Finn. No one's taking any damage yet. We're not using the hammer. I gotta be careful about that. <laughs> Come on! Ocean's alright. Uh, so this is... What's he got? Short Lance Vulnerary. I should probably put the scroll... I guess that we're, we're getting to the point where we want to start thinking about who carries these things uh, for level ups. Now, 10% Strength is not a ton. Luck barely matters, but the blocking criticals is pretty nice. So maybe I should just give this to um, Leaf for now. That's probably a fair baseline is make sure Leaf has got critical protection and a little bit better growth because his strength kind of sucks. Yeah, Leaf, I mean, he's the leader. He's got more value for that than most characters. Okay, and then what was the, uh, it's a short one. So I want to give Tanya, a spare short bow. 
I want to give somebody, somebody has to carry another lance. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> I got too much stuff. Uh, we need a convoy. I need a convoy. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love capturing all this stuff. It's totally good. But <laughs> we're, we're gonna need a convoy soon. All right, and then someone. This is Marty's job. Take and release. Yeah, we'll, we will try to go to the supply shop before the end of this map. No, I don't have an option. We got, we got too much stuff. Um, what do we got here? Another vulnerary? No. Alvin. Not easy. I'm not even doing the math. We're, if we manage to luck out a capture, then sure, but... <laughs> the greed is overwhelming. <laughs> or we could try a... Uh, uh, an Ival attack. She's... She just used the iron sword to kill people. The broken sword, basically. <laughs> That's how bad she is. Practically strong enough to use a broken weapon. Um, that just kills him. She she doesn't need the experience at all. So. Fourteen, fourteen. That's maybe a kill. Things to note: the enemy now has a seven percent crit chance. Level thirteen random soldier with critical chance. Things to remember. Someone's gonna die to a tiny percent crit. I like this. It's probably not gonna get the kill, but there's no counter to worry about. Hey, Halvin! We lost a vulnerary, it's fine. No worry about criticals. That guy, suspiciously strong. Oh, now, I think we can visit these villages. I'm putting a save just in case, because it's weird. Uh, usually when you visit a village, it closes, but this time around, I think it doesn't. Please, I beseech ye, save my boy, Romeo, from that godforsaken fort. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, it still says house. It would say closed at the top left if it was no longer visitable. So we need Romeo. We can find the names of all the, the children that go places here. That's easy enough. Our first heal bot. We'll turn this animation off eventually, no doubt about it, but we'll do it a couple times at least. That's five more experience than normal. Alright, there's, there's a pretty big group of enemies sort of congregating up here, so we want to be smart. Alright, mage and two spearmen. Short lance, short lance. I guess technically I don't need to look at that. One of the, one of the patches adds the weapon icon that they are equipped with to their uh, status screen here, so you can tell if you recognize the icon what they're equipped with. So it looks like they're going to charge towards us, so we'll just let them come a little bit closer and then we'll, we'll deal with them next turn. Should be the safest way to do it. I'll figure out where the kids go after we have some kids. Taking it slow, being smart. 
Calvin is Paul and Ocean is Joe. How am I supposed to remember all these extra names? Uh, Alright, so what I want to test out, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this will work, but Lithis should be able to just go uh, yoink it. So good. And you get a bit of experience for the yoink. Nice! And that means this guy can't do anything. <laughs> Who wants some free XP? Alright, cool. Uh, let's kill some guys. Uh, attack, Iron Axe. Ah, uh, he actually doesn't double. These guys have more stats than you'd think. It's only 85%. Can't count on that. All right, we'll take the we'll take the iron bow. Boom! Thanks, Tanya. Good job. All right. So Leaf has this Hezel scroll. He's not going to get a level up right now, but one of these days we're going to see some strength ups on him, and we're going to be real happy. Ocean. I should probably give him one of this. I have a steel axe somewhere. He's he's already got the Vuj slash Puji. I think the Puji is just a much cooler name, but like he doesn't need weapons, but he doesn't also like. I like having options, so I like to sh sh share the wealth. And also, the brave axe could go back to one of my later axe guys. I'm sure someone had a spare steel axe. Pretty sure I remember that. Yeah, there you go. Ronin does. I mean, there's no point for Ronin holding on to it. Although Ronin can hold on to the other stuff. There you go. Sure. <laughs> All the iron bows. <laughs> Better give some of those to uh, to what's her name. <laughs> All right, Ronan. I think he might get a level up here. If you can get a movement up, then maybe I'll keep you a bit longer. Come on, Ronan. This might be your only level up. <laughs> ah, good old Ronan. Yep. That's a classy unit we got there. Good thing, good thing we're keeping him for the whole game. <laughs> Is there anyone else we should keep for the whole game? I don't know if he'll get. A, I don't think he'll get a level up out of it, but if he hits, he might. Come on, Marty. No. I do like his little uh, horn helmet, though. He's got a cool sprite. We could probably lure that guy down if we if we really wanted to by standing in a tree there. up a bit. Okay. That was a pretty good turn. The poor mage. So oh, so he didn't decide to attack. I mean, it was probably smart of him to stay back, but I thought he would take the bait. Alright, well next turn we're gonna want I guess this guy to move down. Oh yeah, we gotta try to get that door key off of him. Unlike other fire emblems where they just drop it when you kill them, that's not really an option here. So... It might be better to just rush up. Like, we could probably just steal it off of them. Yeah. Uh, and I don't really care about the short lance very much. But we need a way to make sure um, Lithis doesn't die. I don't really have enough firepower that can move up like that. I think it's going to be safer to lure him down. Am 
I don't know with who, though. Um... Because I don't want to kill him. I mean, I, it's just our first time trying to get a door key, so I, I, yeah, I want to do it right. Uh, I will try to let Marty get a level up, though. I mean, he's got 50-50, right? There we go, Marty. I just want to see him get to level 2, and then I'll be happy. <laughs> How much damage are we looking at here? Uh, 9. Not much. Ronan, I know what your job is. Alright, this way we can move people a little bit closer. It'll just be a little bit safer to steal without killing him. And, I mean, like I said earlier, I don't think we need to steal every single item here. This is more just practice for later on in Thracia where you really need to understand the core mechanics to get away with anything. So, we're doing kind of overly calculated moves, let's say, just for practice. And then, you know, we could just capture this guy, but I'm not going to bother. So we'll have the Marty. He gets doubled. But this guy's so weak, it doesn't even matter. Alright, Marty, you helped. Ah, oh, 5 XP short. Come on, Marty. How good of a level up does Marty need? How how much rigging of the XP do we need to use him? That's not enough damage. All right, that's why we keep the iron bowls around. I got to use Ronan to trade over a couple iron bowls for her though. Ninety-two percent, Tanya. Come on, I even used the good weapon. I don't, we're not, Ronan got a zero point level up. I don't want to give him any more experience. Let's give her a full. Yeah, that'll be fine. Well, I'm not, I'm not really too sad about Leaf getting a quick easy kill though. Marty's dealing with a good name. Uh, who else have we got? Dagdar is a fine name. Dagdar is really manly. I like that one. Y you can't tell me Dagdar isn't cool. He's got the beard. It's pretty hype. Well, I don't really like the idea that two thieves can still end up killing uh, someone like Lithis. So Finn's just going to go kill one of them at least. Shouldn't be a problem. Might not even need to use the Brave Lance. Yep, needs to use the Brave Lance. Wow. Alright. Not gonna be able to hit the last archer, but one shot. Shh. I didn't actually check the math, but uh, 12 damage for attack speed. Uh, you know, it's not gonna one shot him, and he's got lots of speed, so they should be fine. I I actually I really don't know if this is a good idea using our heal staff a lot right now with Safi, but uh, for now I'm just gonna be taking the experience where we can get it. Oh, we could just block the road up. I don't even need to worry about that. Yeah. I can't hit the archer, but I can still get in the way. Oh, this is... Yeah. I dare ya. I triple dog dare ya to try to break through that.
<laughs> Dick Dug. The best of games. Uh, I mean, should we take every opportunity to get some baby experience? He doesn't have enough constitution to steal these short posts, which would be really nice. Hey there, Luke. Stole the door key. Eh, I'll get him a little bit of chip damage experience for fun. And for some profit. Ooh! 10% chance! Maybe we should do some more chip damage and try to get him a kill. Now the Greed Ankylo comes out in full force. Good dodge there, Tanya. Oh, look at the setup. Look at the setup. <laughs> Feeding our thief all the XP. Not bad. Pretty good value. Alright, so we just got to be prepared when we open that door to protect him, so that's what like Ocean and Halvin, these guys just can move up a little bit. Get Leaf up here. Marty and Ronan aren't really doing a whole lot, got to keep Safi safe. Ivel, I mean she's ridiculous. Maybe we'll just send Finn over here to wipe this guy out. Pretty good defense though. Does this guy have a vulnerary? I mean, we, we might capture him. Seven damage. Wow, that's not... He's, yeah, I mean, he's an armor knight. That's fair. Sure, we'll just do a little bit of chip damage. It's going to take a while to kill the, the armor bowman. Especially when we miss. But, you know, missing is fine because you still get the full experience if you participate in combat, so. He's not going to be able to kill anybody in one hit. There's no way. Straight for Leaf. Critical hit. Now you can't. You can't even critical hit Leaf. Don't even try it. Thanks for the free level up, dude. Strength speed. <laughs> the scroll. It's paying off already. <laughs> I mean, we may have gotten it naturally, but still, that 10%. That might have been what pushed us over and got us plus one strength. And also cost us point of luck, but who needs luck? Alright, so. We're definitely going to open this door. Now, actually, yeah. I wasn't sure if it would use the door key or the lock pick. It, it might use the thing that's... The, at the top of your inventory but it doesn't it doesn't prefer a key over a lockpick is what we know for sure okay so you've got a bow we might want to capture you maybe The biggest secret with Duck Hunt was the second player controller. If anyone remembers that one. <laughs> uh, I think we should probably still go for Cap. Uh, 12 constitution... Means... Halvin? Yeah, Halvin, Dagdar, kind of limited. Might not be very likely here. Yeah, we can't do much damage. We'd have to... Well... I never intended the Brave Axe to stick with Dra Dagdar forever. Let's pass that back. Nah, that'll just kill him. Let's see if Halvin can handle it with a Brave Axe. He's got pretty good odds. I mean, he, he needs to hit 2 at 79%, but... Good job, Halvin. 
someone useful gets the experience. And we capture a guy with a vulnerary. <laughs> it's a pretty bad level up. Can't win them all. So what do we got in here? Another door key and a short sword. That's the first one of those. And a short lance. We just kill this guy. I'm pretty sure the follow-up attack is guaranteed to crit. HP, luck, defense. Eh, not too bad, I guess. Not amazing, but better than just one HP. Yeah, uh, Thracia has short versions of basically everything. They're short lances, short bows. I think they're just, I don't know, like E rank, worse than iron sword kind of garbage weapons that mostly the enemy has. Twelve con. Can't quite get close enough for Marty. What's he carrying? Short bow, vulnerary. <laughs> Inventory management. There's no space. We're out of space. We're all out of luck here, buddy. <laughs> there's, there's no room left for anything. I figured it out. Bam. Alright, uh... What are we looking at? 16 damage. He actually hits pretty hard. He's got a lot of strength. 10 strength is pretty good. Um, 16 damage with a sword. Again, that doesn't kill Lithis. So fine. He might go for Ocean, but he'll probably go for Lithus, I betcha. Make sure we've got some healers nearby. Oh, I remember something. There's a little thing in the back of my head about a little gimmick on this specific chapter. Nice. <laughs> that you'd never know about if you hadn't played it beforehand. That actually we should do. Speed and defense! No constitution, but speed is good. Uh, so, I hadn't really shown off all of the back row characters here. Um, General Lobos has a long bow, which doesn't have range 3, and a short lance, so he's no big deal. And then there's this guy over here with an L fire, which we can't steal, but we might want to capture this guy. I feel like the fact that this guy moved up means something might happen soon with this guy. It's been a really long time since I watched the Let's Play, but I, I think we might want to get moving here. Um, it's got a feeling. We do want to heal. We could try magic. I mean, I was going to capture this guy, wasn't I? I was... I should probably try to capture him. He's got some unique stuff. Is there a command to trigger a trivia question? It just pops up every, uh... I think it's a random time between like 30 and 45 minutes there's a random trivia question, I, I think. Oh right, really heavy. Uh, I was thinking Finn will be quick once he gets inside, he actually won't. He will lose most of his uh, most of his movements. I don't even know if he can go inside actually as a mounted unit. So we could hammer capture. That's a cool idea. Hammers do ridiculously high damage to armor, and if you're capturing, then you just capture them. Alright, that handles that. 
Uh, Ocean, can I just trust you to charge up there all by yourself? I don't know. That's a bit much. Another short sword. Short lance. Short lance. I'm just worried about slowing down too much. That means will definitely kill, so. I think I'm gonna trust Ocean. Joe Ocean. The trouble when you start throwing Joes around is you pull out the JoJo memes. You start naming people Joe. Okay, his guy no longer has anything. We can just move, release. Oh, happy music, that's all. No big deal. Uh, we do need to drop off Lithis if I can. How Lithis is very light though. I think even Ivel, yeah, Ivel can do that. Let's get Leaf. I should have given someone a door key to get start working on these kids, but. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice! And then, um... We actually... Leaf is not strong enough to, to pick up, uh... What's his name? Has anyone got seven con? Oh, Ronan! You the man. Alright, and then we can heal him! Bing bang boom. Happy music for release. <laughs> well... Captured enemies when you release them. I'm I'm pretty confident they they just become dead enemies. <laughs> okay, so we do want to trade over for the door key and the sword again. Uh, with someone with all the people with all the extra inventory space, right? All right, well let's see what happens here. We might be in for a surprise after a couple more turns. Boom! Get out of here, armor. Your armor your armor means nothing to Ocean. Remember when I was like, I wonder if Ocean can handle this by himself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. HP, strength, luck. Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. So things are about to get exciting. We need, we need to get moving. We need to get a move on.